Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're making curried pumpkin. Yes, not the traditional way of making pumpkin, but this is just one of the ways that my mom taught me to make it. So let's jump straight into this recipe. Let me show you how easy it is to put together. We're starting with our pot over medium low heat and we're adding in oil. In goes some methi or fenugreek seeds. And we're going to toast that until it's dark brown and then add in a few curry leaves. Just allow them to pop and then we'll add in our aromatics. So chopped onions, scallions, pimento pepper and if you want to put habanero or scotch bonnet, feel free. In goes minced garlic and season with some salt. We're going to allow this to saute until the aromatics are tender and make sure you don't burn them. You just want them to get light brown in color. Now once that happens, it's time to go in with our curry powder. Now I'm using this 9 spice curry powder because it flavors it really beautifully. You just need one level tablespoon for 3 pounds of pumpkin, which is just perfect. So we're going to toast this until it feels grainy just for about 1 minute. Next, we'll add in some water to cook the curry. Give that a mix and allow that curry to cook. What is going to happen is it's going to start to thicken. But let's add some more flavor by adding in some green seasoning. The recipe for the green seasoning will be found down in the description box. Give that a mix and allow it to continue to cook. This will take anywhere between 2 to 3 minutes and the curry should start thickening. We're going to let it continue to cook. We want it to cook it until the oil starts separating and this is what it should look like. Now at this point, we're going to add in our chopped pumpkin. You can use butternut squash if you don't have pumpkin. Season with salt and then toss to combine. We're going to allow this to cook up in the curry for about five minutes. And it smells so heavenly. And if you guys have never tried this, trust me, when you try it, you're really going to love it. Now cover and allow it to cook on a low heat until very tender. You would want to go in and check it ever so often. Make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Give it a turn. And you can already tell that it's start, starting to soften. So I'm going to allow it to continue to finish soften. Once everything is nice and tender, using the back of your spoon, you're going to smash down on the pieces. Now I like this very smooth, so I'll smash it down until it's really, really smooth. Feel free to leave it chunky if you like. And this is what it looks like, nice and smooth. And now to finish this, you're going to finish with some ground jeera. Just a little bit. Sprinkle it all over the top and then mix that in. And all you have to do is taste, adjust your salt and it's ready to be served. Great with dosi, roti, paratha or even sada. And if you love naan, perfect for naan. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Let me know down below what you think. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.